Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovan, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. This is part 77. In the last episode, we started the quest, The Dark Heart of Black Hall. And uh, basically, we found ourselves a very creepy book called The Krebekna in a uh, swamp cave thingamajigger where it was located. And we need to take it to the Dunwich Building in the Capital Wasteland, which is right there. Now, if we take a look at our map... Um, let's go to the world map. You can see that this place is sort of in the bottom left area of the map all by itself. This is the Rockland Car Tunnel, and I believe that has to do with, uh, the Broken Steel DLC. Don't quote me on that. This is the F. Scott Key Trail and Campground. But other than that, this seems to be, like, out in the middle of nowhere all by itself. It's just a big, lone standing building with really nothing around it. And, uh, there's a very creepy aura around it, though. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove this map marker. And you'll notice that we have two map markers leading us to, or two quest objectives. Both of them are, like, leading away, though, which is kind of weird. Um, one thing with Fallout 3 is that the quest objectives sort of get bugged a lot. So, where is this leading me to? Take the crew back into the Ob to Obadiah, which is back in Point Lookout, or take it to the Dunwich Building in the Capital Wasteland. And, uh, if you press show on map, it takes you here, but it looks like both markers are leading me over there. Either way, we have to head into the Dunwich Building. Which is bad news bears, because this place is not a very friendly place as we're about to see. Now this place is usually uh, completely standalone, there's nothing to do with it, so you sort of have to find this place on your own, unless you have the Point Lookout DLC, and keep in mind when people first played this game, you know, it, it was a very long time until Point Lookout came out. Um, Alright, so we need to take this book to an altar or something and destroy it, and I think that's the only thing that it tells us to do, so we're going to have to sort of find our way. There's a skeleton here with a couple of ammo boxes, it doesn't look like there's anything over here, there actually is a Nuka-Cola machine, although it doesn't really matter at this point considering we don't really need Quantums anymore. We do if we want to make the uh, Nuka-Cola grenade, but that's not a priority at the moment. Alright, so we have a door here. And I'm not really sure. We have a couple of red blips popping up all over the place. And now it looks like our map markers are leading to the right place. So we have one that's all the way back here and we have one that's right here. I'm not sure which one which one leads to what. So why don't we just keep going straight for the meantime. And we'll worry about this other stuff if we have to. Do we just come from there? Yeah, the okay, yeah, yeah, I just got turned around. Alright, so let's keep going this way. There is no way to keep going forward, though. So we have left, and we have right, just to make sure. Let's just hobble on over here. Yeah, nothing over there. Alright, so left or right? Uh, usually, I like to go to the right. I think, if you look at, like, video game stuff, usually people say to go to the left, like, keep hugging the left, but I usually like to go to the right. Alright, so we have a Nuka-Cola Quantum here, which isn't that big of a deal, like I said. We have a whole bunch of ammo boxes. And some 556 lying on the ground. I think I'm doing pretty good with ammo boxes for the time being, though. Or with ammo in total, I think. Alright, so what weapon do we have equipped right now? It's been a while since I've recorded. Um, yeah, let's use the combat shotgun. Oh, we have the double barrel right. Alright, so we have a feral ghoul roamer. It looks like we have another one that's about to run at me. Go ahead. Nice try. Okay, we have a door. No, that's not a door. It looks like an exit, though. Oh, no. Okay, I thought those lights said... I thought those lights were an exit sign for some reason. Alright, let's keep heading. Okay. Yeah. So, what in the world opened that door? There's nobody here. That's creepy, isn't it? Okay, maybe that's an indication as to uh, which way to go. Let's open this door. And let's open this door. And it looks like there's nothing in here. There's also a bobblehead in this location, which hopefully we will find. I believe it's melee weapons. This is a trap terminal, and I'm not going to fall for it. Goodbye. Saw the flag. Got to keep a good eye out for that flag. All right, so we have a couple of feral ghouls here. Let's take care of this one. You'll notice the shotgun is pretty damn loud, so it's probably going to alert everybody in the whole vicinity. That was an excellent miss. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. One hit point. That's not cool. It makes me waste my shotgun shells. Alright, so I think we do good to ignore the quest marker right now. I don't know if that's correct or not. Another trap terminal here. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Because why not? Let's go through this way. I think I heard a grenade just drop. So I'm just going to keep moving. Although I don't think it's actually going to blow up. No. Okay. Moving on. We have a red blip straight ahead. 
We have a door here that leads to where we were. That looks like a reaver. Yeah, that's what they're called. Let's sneak right up to him, see if we can kill him in one hit. That's good to know. All right, let's open this. And that leads to a dead end. Okay, so we have a set of stairs leading down here. Let's go ahead and go down here. That's probably the right way to go. Yeah, one thing I do remember about the Dunwich building is it's sort of like a maze. There's lots of different places that you can go, and it's not just like uh, continue forward and go this way. All right, so it looks like there's nothing down here except for this door over here. So let's try this one. Actually, I think the Dunwich building is where that picture um, came from, where it, where it shows like a locked door. Is that a head sticking through? Or is that just a head sticking on top of that table? Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I think uh, the Dunwich building is where that picture of the lock... It's like this door, and it says it's, um, you know, the highest difficulty lock. And it's stupid, because you could literally just reach your hand through and uh, pick it. Or uh, open it. Alright, so we have a holotape here. Jamie's Personal Journal Entry 07. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that. The Raiders told spook stories about zombies in the ruins. Never saw anything like that where I come from. Lord help me, they're real. Not quite what Thor said, but close. These things look... I think they really used to be people. Okay, that's odd. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Looks like we did enter the right place. I forgot what that was called, what we just entered, what this section of this place is called, but no problem. Um, yeah, so we just had a hallucination there. A, a hallucination? A hallucination, yes. That is the correct word. Looked like everything was back to normal for a second there, and there was a man standing there, and it uh, looked like he might have changed into that glowing one here, that if we near it, we also get rads per second. So we want to uh, probably get as far away from that as we possibly can. We have another, another hollow tape on the table here. Jamie's personal entry number eight. Zombies didn't touch him. I think he was becoming like them. Didn't know it was him until I found that old book near him. No more killing. I just need to go. Can't forget the book. All I have left of him. It's warm against the stone. I'll... I'll just rest a while. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys could tell, but his voice changed into a ghoul near the end there, and he's talking about a mysterious book. And we also have a mysterious book in our inventory. Inventory, Go figure. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this terminal. I see you. Um, one. There we go. And what do we have in here? I don't see any doors or terminals or uh, uh, guns on the top. What, what the hell are they called? I can't believe the, the Let's Play Curse. The things that are attached to the roofs that kill you. The, uh, the guns, the auto turrets, whatever. Um, sentry guns. Okay, so about auto dictation software. Okay, that's weird. What is this? Just a whole bunch of logs. Okay. So I guess this is some backstory on the Dunwich building itself, but that is a lot of text to be reading. Alright, so I saw like an uphill thing over here. So let's go ahead and head up it. Your body is so inconvenient. Every time I have to go near it, I get some rads, and I don't like that. Why do you have to be a glowing one? All right, let's take a little jump over here. I'm remembering this part, and let's take a jump over here. Uh, it's hard to jump and sneak, but we were able to do it. And we have a feral ghoul reaver here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll let you pass. I was going to shoot you in the brains, but you wanted to move. Okay, another glowing one. It's interesting that we actually don't get rads when he's alive, only when he's dead. Oh, hello there. Okay. What do we have in here? Did I see another Nuka-Cola? Nope, that was the glow of the glass on that door. We do have a first aid box with a stim pack and not much else. Let's keep going down this hallway. So yeah, if you, if you can tell already, weird things are happening in the Dunwich building. Keep in mind, like I said, you know, this wasn't always a part of a quest in Point Lookout. This was a part of the vanilla game before Point Lookout was ever out. So people would come here and they would see those hallucinations. Hallucinations? Hallucinations. I know the word, it's just I'm forgetting it temporarily thanks to the Let's Play Curse. I'm not stupid, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you. Um, Alright, let's go backwards because that was leading back down to where that terminal was. 
and it looks like the direction that we want to be heading is over in this direction but I don't see a door although we might have passed one okay so that leads to a dead end that leads to a dead end this is where we came in from alright let's try the end of the hall oh how in the world did you survive that and that oh okay let's break sneak I think I hear another one behind me too let's see yeah, we're in caution, so there's definitely is one more that has heard us. Alright, let's go to the end of this hallway. That little effect is still there. Um, so we have one door there, we have one door there, we have another door there, and we have a door at the end of that hall too. If this goes left, that's going to be a good thing. It does go left, which is really good. Okay. Alright, this is good. Yes, this is what we want. Alright, so another big area with a whole bunch of different places to go. Let's just go to the end of the hall and see what we can find. I'm seeing a lot, lot, lot of uh, ghouls around here, so we'll probably remain in stealth. Let's jump over here. Let's jump over here. And do we want to head down? Kind of do, because it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go. But let's head over here. No, okay, looks like we're going down anyways. Alright, we do have a map marker that's moving very quickly, which, which means that we're probably close. Let's see, where are you going to take me? The Virulent Under Chambers. I know for a fact that's where it needs to, that's where we need to go because that's the location that has all the weird stuff, including the bobblehead. Which will actually help us out for once. Ten points to melee is something beneficial. Okay, looks like we have another hollow tape on this desk. Number nine. Hopefully it started at seven Sharp and we didn't knife. miss any. Sharp knife to send him to Deep Temple. Flay and say my words. Abdul comes again on the feast of the weaker feast uh, for the deep temple born again here al hazaret yes yes so it seems like jamie's not doing too well uh, it seems like he's descended into complete and utter madness also he sounds like a complete ghoul now so i would go ahead and assume that uh if we do find this Jamie person, he is not going to be a human. We are also getting rads around two per second, which is not good. I don't know what we're getting rads from, so it must just be the general area. The only thing I see is that door in the corner there. So let us go ahead and activate it. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I really hope that there's an exit leading back to the top or something very quickly. We don't have to like find our way all the way back. That would be extremely annoying. Also, if you didn't notice here, it looks like we're heading down and down and down and down and down, which is appropriate considering the nature of this quest and the creepy shit that's going on. Okay, let's head to the ground level here. We have one more door and also a first aid box, which is going to have a right away and a stim pack. Might want to actually use a right away real quick, depending on how many rads we have. We have 94, perfect time to use a right away, considering it takes away 100. Okay. Let's open this door. We only have six more shots with our double barrel as well. It's something to keep in mind. And you'll also notice I used two shots per shot, as it would normally be in real life if you were using a double barrel shotgun, which is kind of cool. Attention to detail is always nice. Another door here, which leads to what looks like a cave formation. So we've gone from like an office building to like a metro area. I don't really know if it's a metro area, just like a steam engine room or something. And now to a cave formation. Okay, so we have a path to the left. And it looks like nothing on the right. Okay, and there's also some very creepy guttural musings going on. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I think that's unique to this location. Alright, so it looks like we found some sort of obelisk. Some guy right there who I'm assuming is going to be Jamie. Yep, Vance has confirmed that. And a ton of feral ghouls that will kill us if we uh, break stealth. So that's going to be fairly difficult. Let's see what happens if we activate the obelisk. Dunwich Obelisk. This obelisk... This obelisk shares its origins with the Krivbekna. Just being near it makes you uneasy. Press the Krivbekna to the obelisk surface. Leave the obelisk alone. Well, we came here to destroy the book. Hopefully this will do it. Okay. Alright, that's unfortunate. I always knew that it does set everything on fire. Oh boy! Okay. Alright. 
Let's get out of here. <laughs> that ghoul has a gun, Jamie. Okay. Let's do this smart. We have two more shots. Well, one more. Okay. Oh, this is going to be bad. I back myself into a corner here. Okay. Let's keep heading up. Get the higher ground. It's always good in combat situations. That guy does a lot of damage. My god. Okay. What are we going to use here? What are we going to use here? Oh god. We need to heal first. Mesmatron. That's not what I want. That's not what I wanted to pull out. Okay, um, let's go with the Infiltrator, I think is going to be our best bet. You're dead. Come on, keep falling up. Okay, I'm going to need you to, like, get out in the open so I can shoot you. There we go. Yeah, just stand right there. That's perfect. Own it. Own it. Okay, looks like we're out of 556 ammo. We're going to have to take out Jamie first. That was easy, and we also gained Karma. Which is kind of weird because it looks like he was like uh, brainwashed or something. Okay, hopefully we only have one left. It looks like a Feral Ghoul Reaver. Thanks to the Grim Reaper Sprint perk, we should be able to take this guy out with that. Okay, good. Alright, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to. But those guys do do a ton of damage, that is for sure. Alright, let's heal up all the way and let's find Jamie's body. There he is. 556 and a regular Chinese assault rifle. Okay, let's go ahead and head back. Alright, so we did complete the quest. I don't know if you guys saw, but it said the Dark Heart of Black Hall completed. There's that guttural sound again. It's really creepy. Um, and we also gained karma for not only completing the quest, but also for killing Jamie, which, as I said, was interesting. Um, I was saying that I remember this thing sets everybody on fire, and I was hoping that would kill them all, but I guess when you're on a higher difficulty and when you're a higher level, uh, it does not, so cool. We also have a couple of ammo boxes here. Not going to bother with the locked ones. Let's open this one, and let's open this one. Okay, looks like that's completely it. We can activate this thing again, though. Just being near this obelisk makes you uneasy. Okay. All right, and we didn't find the bobblehead, so I, I'll go ahead and try and locate that. Um, yeah, so basically, just to recap, if you do this the nice, quote-unquote, nice way, or quote, nice, unquote, way, um, you just get positive karma. And if you do, if you turn the book into Obadiah, I believe he gives you, like, a thousand caps. So you have to be really dedicated to doing things the nice way. Um, did we go through here? Let's go back into sneak mode. I don't think we went through here. Or did we? Okay, I guess we did. Alright, I'm going to do my best to locate the uh, bobblehead for melee weapons, and then we'll get the hell out of this creepy-ass place. Alright, so it was actually, if you guys remember, we came down from a set of metal stairs, and there was a set of metal stairs opposite to that. And if you go up the ones that are opposite to that, you'll come to this room here, and right on the floor will be the bobblehead for melee weapons. The inscription on the base reads, It's important to do business up close and personal. Your melee weapon skill has been permanently increased by 10% points sweet and that's pretty much all there is to this location um besides the hallucinations and the audio logs there's also a couple of books that you can find i think dean's electronics however i am not really concerned with that i hear three dogs voice emanating from a radio somewhere let's see where this uh dropped us out on hopefully the top level we can just like drop down that would be absolutely wonderful uh, let's see, let's drop down here, and I really honestly have no clue where I am, but, yeah, we're done with that quest, so I'm gonna end this episode here, in the next episode, we have, I think, yeah, we have two more quests to do in Point Lookout, and I think we'll end Point Lookout, so I'll go ahead and head back to Point Lookout, and, uh, oh, we're actually at the start, awesome, and, uh, then I'll see you guys there tomorrow, bye-bye.